Hi y'all. It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Tuesday, April 24th. Keep in mind that this timing is fluid. These are the energies I'm picking up today. It doesn't mean that it's happening today. It means it could have happened yesterday, the day before, last week, next week, next month, you know? I'm picking these energies up today. For many of you, it will resonate right now. But for some of you, you know, it could be just happening in the near future. Just, you know, take what it is, all right? This is for all signs. Tuesday, April 24th. Dear God, angels, spirits, universe, what do you have for today? Oh, somebody's not happy in a relationship. They're not happy. Somebody's not happy. Okay, so there's relationship problems. It's almost like there is a dream that is dying in regards to love. You know, and it feels like, you know, you have other options. You don't need to concentrate on the loss. Try not to concentrate on the loss. Somebody's realizing the truth about a relationship. Maybe they're realizing the truth about a relationship that ended. There is a, an ability to find happiness again. There is. Somebody has been enlightened through loss. Through loss of a relationship. Maybe they've, now they're seeing the light. Truly. Somebody is seeing the light. They're, they're seeing... Oh, the truth of a situation. <clears throat> and now it's time to take a risk. It is. It's time to take a risk. It's time to stand up for yourself. You have been enlightened. You have. Somebody ha has been enlightened. And now it's time to stand up and do something about it. So that you can bring happiness back to your life. You know. Because somebody's been sitting around not doing the right thing. Not wanting to be held accountable. Not wanting to speak the truth. Not wanting to do the right thing. And that brings bad karma. So somebody is holding back from doing the right thing in some sort of relationship. Even though now they've been enlightened. You know, they're refusing to cooperate. Refusing to blend and bring balance and harmony back. When they have the opportunity to do that, all they have to do is stand up. You're seeing the truth. You know the truth. I realize what happened here. That kind of thing. But now you have to cooperate. Now you have to do something about it instead of sitting back and not doing anything about it. Yeah, somebody is, is refusing to bring happiness and contentment back, their, back to their lives. It's like... I will not commit myself to being held accountable even though I know what happened. It's time. It's time to take action. Communication is needed. Whether it's via text, whether it's via email, whatever. Communication is needed. It is time to stand up, to speak up. Stop stalling. Somebody has been stalling. And what they're really stalling is their own happiness. And because they're stalling their own happiness, there's a lot of discontent here, a lot of disharmony. There's stuff, things are not balanced out. Unhappiness. When you have the ability to be happy, if you would just take action and communicate. Somebody is refusing to communicate when they know they should. And this could be at a work relationship or a partnership. You know, communication heals. It does. And this is a big, this is a huge problem. This is why people break up. This is why people leave jobs. This is why people fight. No communication. Somebody needs to communicate and they are refusing and it's causing a lot of discontentment. If you can't communicate, you can continue to suffer. And that's what's going on here. 
Communication is the key to success in any relationship at work, love, home. Communication is the key. And somebody is refusing to communicate and it's causing sadness, unhappiness, unfairness, lack of harmony, lack of balance, discontent, because I will not communicate. And somebody is going to lose out because of this. Somebody is going to miss an opportunity for true happiness because they refuse to communicate and cooperate. Somebody's being called to fight for what they want. Fight for your love. Fight for happiness. Fight for balance. Stand up for yourself. Communicate. You know, give and take. This is about equality. You get what you give. If you communicate with whoever this is, the chances that they will communicate back are pretty darn good. Somebody's just refusing, refusing. There's a lack of willpower. Loss of direction, lack of discipline, loss of willpower. Bitter, angry, upset. If you let resentment and bitterness hold you back, then you will continue to be unhappy. Lack of communication. Communication is needed here to restore balance, to restore harmony. But you're going to have to stand up. You're going to have to do something about it. You've been enlightened. You know what's up. But you're stalling, absolutely stalling, not moving forward with this communication that is needed. And it's causing a hell of a lot of unhappiness. People, if you're looking for happiness, you have to communicate. So today is a day. Of realizing the truth and standing up for yourself to restore balance by communicating. Some of you won't do it. I will not communicate. I will not. Therefore, you will not move forward. So there's a, there's, there's, somebody is emotionally unavailable at this time. Their emotions are not being oh, what's the word for it? Their emotions are not being nurtured because they're holding back how they truly feel. They're turning their back on love. Somebody is turning their back on love. And if this is in regards to work, you're turning your back on having contentment in your workplace. Somebody is turning their back on happiness. That's what's happening here. Because they're indecisive. You are at a crossroads. You have two paths. You're restless and detached and withdrawn. There's so much lack of contentment here. Because somebody doesn't have the willpower and the strength to master their emotions and just communicate how they truly feel as they do see the truth of the situation. Whatever happened, they do. But they're bitter. And they don't want to be held accountable even though they see the truth. And so they're losing out on happiness.
fight for what you want. Fight for it. Via communication. Communication is needed. Big time. Unless you want to throw it all away. Because like I said earlier, communication is the key to success. And without communication, there is no success. Talk to you later. Once again, I didn't show you guys all the cards. <laughs>